This is Richard Dingle with Pittsburgh Modular here talking to Analog Zone. We have a bunch of new stuff at NAMM this year. I built this drum machine. Well, it's a modular synthesizer, but we got it patched up like a drum machine today, but it's got all sorts of new stuff in it. The first thing might not seem like the greatest thing in the world, but it's like, it's really cool. Our new OSC module, Oscillator V2 version two. We just call it the OSC. It's a real simple utility oscillator, secondary oscillator in most systems. Has a triangle out, a pulse out, saw out. Great sound. And the same core as our bigger waveforms oscillator, and actually the same core as our old oscillator module. So it's got the same beefy sound, just a little bit smaller, missing a couple things. But when you have six HP and you need you need some oomph, it's there for you. What we're listening to now is our second new module, the analog replicator. Now that the oscillator is feeding into that right now, and you can hear it echoing. This is a true bucket brigade analog delay. You have two bucket brigade chips which you can switch in and out. So we have one chip or two chips. And you have two modes. You have a short mode, which is a little over a third of a second, a very clean, very crisp delay. You match that with the long mode, which gets you up to two and a half seconds of just mud and sludge and grime and dirt. You know, everything you look for in an analog delay. So if we drop down, it just pulls the, the low end out. It just sounds really, really good. Sub resonates. Everything on this guy is voltage controllable. So you have voltage control over the, the length. You have voltage control over the feedback. Voltage control over the clean. First, mix out. our new analog replicator module. Year and a half in the making, sounds amazing. And it's, you know, it's perfect for really any modular system. The next module we're showing here is our time runner. The, time, the next thing about the time runner is a clock divider, but it's a lot more. So, in its most basic configuration, you have divide by two, divide by four, divide by eight, divide by 16 of a clock. And a clock can really be anything. Right now it's using the square wave oscillator built in a couple switches, changes the logic around, you start to get different patterns, different sounds out of it. So really, this is the core of our drum machine modular right now. This is driving the patterns and really deciding what's going on. Everything is voltage controllable, so you can use LFOs and different things to trigger it to change the patterns in real time. So you don't have to flip the switches, it can do it by itself. Very, very cool thing. Because it's 100% analog, it also runs at audio rates. So if you clog it with an OS module or an audio rate with a square wave, it becomes a sub-octave generator, giving you one octave down, two octaves down, three and four octaves down. So you can use it as an audio oscillator to beef up your sound on the low end. The final new module we have today is our chain reactor. It's a quad chaotic LFO. So you have two standard LFOs, basic free-running low-frequency oscillators tied to two voltage-influenced LFOs. And what that gives you is the push and the pull and the fighting between the oscillators to create some interesting chaotic patterns and chaotic systems. So the output isn't a constant triangle wave. It fades in and out. It dips and dives. It ducks. It raises. So you really get a, a lot of different things coming out of it. It's, it's chaos in a module. All put together, we're running it sort of as a drum machine today. A couple modules here and there acting as the kick. We have a hi-hat sound and then the sort of lead thing running through here. But that's what we're showing new as far as the modules go at NAMM. And uh, we're pretty excited about everything.